uh, Nagarajan sir, shall we start? Yes, sir. We can start, sir. Yes, yes, we can start. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, please, I but... request. Uh, 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 yes, yes. Please, please check, uh, check a list of participants because our students can can cannot join to our uh, session. They are waiting in a list okay. of participants. Please check. Yeah, madam, they are joined. We are we are permitted all. All of the students are joined. Okay, please check and invite them. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, I invite Dr. Anand sir to take the to handle the session, to start the session. But go to Anand. Yeah. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Chira. So, here first, I really appreciate the program. Are you able to hear my voice? Sir, once and once again, sir. Yes, sir. We can able to hear uh, Dr. R. Anand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, R. Anand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm here. Uh, Shall I start? I, yeah, you, you handle the session. You start the session. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning. Because in Lithuania, now is uh, morning time. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. Good connection. Um, very good morning to everyone. Myself, Dr. R. Annan, Associate Professor, Department of Business Administration, Annamala University. It's my great pleasure for uh, to introduce the speakers of this section. Three renowned academicians are going to share their views and knowledge on review of literature tips and techniques, scientific and systematic process. This is an area in which we should all be deeply interested because of avoiding common mistakes that we can best ensure our scientific literature strength, that we can ensure through our scientific literature strength. Our speakers are from Zambia, Malaysia, and Lithuania. I welcome all the participants. They were spread all over the world. I mean, a minimum of 35 different countries and 25 disciplines. The first speaker is from Lithuania, Dr. Margetia Izorech. Associate Professor, University of Applied Sciences, Lithuania. Ma'am, she is having two decades of postdoctoral experience and well known for academic practitioner by turning the theory into practice, who has specialized in consumer behavior and recognized for her innovative work, such as innovation in the technological advertising. Dear learner participants and all, please join me in welcoming Dr. Margatia Izorac. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, I am Margaret. Uh, can you hear me? Maybe I could uh, share uh, my PowerPoint presentation, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Before that, I introduce two speakers, and the time is for you, ma'am. Our next speaker is Dr. A. Ananta Kumar, Associate Professor, DMI Saint University, Zambia. He is an young and energetic academician in the field of management studies. Moreover, he is a consistent performer in teaching, research, and development. Dear all, kindly join with me in welcoming Dr. Anand Kumar, sir. Thank you, sir. Next, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's time to introduce Ramliya Devi, Associate Professor, Help University, HELP University, 
Damansara, Malaysia. She is a committed and enthusiastic academic communicator. She is passionate <clears throat> towards teaching and extensive participation in research work, collaboration, extracurricular programs, etc. Dear participants, kindly join with me in welcoming Dr. Ramliya Devi. Thank you. Now it's time for the speakers. May I request them to take 10 to 15 minutes to enlighten, enlighten the participants about the review of literature techniques, scientific and systematic process. Now it's time for the speakers. Thank you. Could I uh, begin? Can I begin? Can I speak? Yes. Yeah, yes, madam, you can share your ideas. Most welcome, ma'am. I don't know how to share my PowerPoint presentation now. Yeah, PowerPoint is visible, ma'am. Maybe you, you see my presentation or not? Uh, yes, yes, yeah, we, we can seeing, see your presentation. Yeah, we are okay. your presentation. Uh, thank you for inviting me to participate in your workshop about uh, uh, scientific uh, techniques uh, uh, when we uh, writing articles and what is important. Uh, for literature review, it's very important uh, to know uh, what has been written about the field, how this material uh, has been obtained by us, others' research and main result of research and discussion <laughs> in major, <laughs> and major scientific and methodological uh, publication. And uh, in uh, literature review, it's very important when I um, <laughs> writing my research article, a defined boundary of research problems. And what is important, it's important to create problematic questions. What is the problem of uh, this uh, research? Uh, when I write uh, scientific articles, it's very important to know uh, problems. And I am working in University of uh, Applied Science, so research. It's very important literature review and uh, empirical methods. Uh, and uh, uh, literature review uh, is very important because it is uh, <clears throat> basic for doing re uh, empirical research. Uh, and the literature review stages what's important. Uh, following goals are set study of literature. Uh, it's uh, consists of two stages. Uh, first uh, stage is fast reading uh, to find the content of uh, articles, uh, to analyze main source and idea of uh, scientific uh, articles. Uh, second reading, uh, uh, we when doing second reading, we evaluate casual material delve into logical reasoning and discussion. Uh, and uh, when we doing uh, uh, scientific uh, literature research, uh, uh, we uh, thinking about uh, searching of new aspect of research and uh, uh, explanatory research, such of latest literature, uh, what is literature in our field. For example, when we uh, our manager of our bachelor's diploma, we also recommend for students uh, to analyze five years old uh, scientific uh, uh, articles uh, for first part of our bachelor's diploma. And when uh, we uh, writing also scientific articles also uh, searching for newest uh, literature. 
um, literature is totally written and printed works of nation, epoch, and all uh, community. Uh, literature and, uh, uh, review are theoretical review uh, and methodological review. Uh, uh, when we seeing uh, when research focus on methods and definition, for example, if we writing article about internet marketing tools, so we searching liter literature about this field and uh, uh, doing uh, uh, and literature uh, analysis can be written in three ways, referentially indicate what and how different author write on particular issue. Uh, we pay attention of diversity of opinions, uh, general and different uh, statement uh, and it is possible to group authors according how they treat and, uh, this issue. Uh, uh, also, literature review can be chronologically when opinion of different authors relates to topic and works are presented in chronological order, starting with, with uh, all the sources and ending the most recent. This approach is applicable when uh, uh, we analyzing problem from historical perspectives. Problematical uh, literature review, what is important? Uh, uh, if analysis of literature review is problematical and should be written this type of analysis, uh, author can present uh, uh, his point of view uh, anticipate prospect of further development of uh, problems. Um, and uh, when we're talking about literature review, uh, uh, literature review is theoretical research methods. And according to Lissiani author, it is essential uh, that author of works reading, analyzing, uh, comparing, evaluating previous literature in particular field, evaluating uh, current situation by resolving a um, particular problem. And what's it's important uh, when we analyzing uh, uh, literature, uh, propose of using pace. Uh, the theory and methods are presented in works at the beginning. And uh, it is somewhat changed forms that will be applied in the work, for example. It, to better understand phenomenon. It will be shown later that uh, this author uh, uh, highlights uh, these problems. Uh, also, when we doing uh, proposal of using phase, linking with conjecture, showing connections, therefore, further by the way, on contrary. Uh, also, it's important to mark, marking, indicating, and a place in text, for uh, example, propose of this analysis show when we uh, then we be explored and it's uh, a view that uh, references when we doing references it is important uh, to mention, for example, uh, uh, Kotler and Fazes. Uh, uh, that uh, marketing complex consists of these elements. For example, Keller gives opinion about uh, internet marketing uh, uh, tools. Uh, also, when we doing literature review, uh, it's important stylistics. Uh, for example, the book states that has been completed the, the result of study we have summarized, investigation revealed, and as a single. So, uh, uh, when we doing real literature uh, review, author and research are presented on the basis of uh, certain logical sequences. Uh, most research in the field secret that uh, Villon, Merle, and Statham, uh, uh, however, uh, present uh, casual relations. Analyzing uh, 
uh, various space are approved for all also opinion, for example, from scientific point of view, as state Gottler or Keller, as claim in summary, according, and so on. Uh, uh, when we talking on, about literature review, uh, it's important to use web states written mesh mention, uh, confirm or, uh, or illustrate uh, the work will use uh, the term derived from this book and so on. Argument, for example, therefore, it leads to that, uh, to show that uh, the conclusion will be and so on. Uh, also, it's important to compare, uh, compare uh, different uh, author opinion. For example, when we analyzing marketing uh, complex, uh, we know uh, different authors, uh, different authors' uh, uh, opinion in which uh, how many elements, for example, consist marketing mix. For example, uh, we state that Kotler uh, said that uh, marketing mix uh, consists uh, uh, four P elements. Another author, that marketing mix consists uh, seven uh, P elements. And the, another author states that marketing mix uh, consists eight P elements. Uh, uh, when we're talking about literature review, uh, the face in table help to formulate sentence in the text, conveying uh, creativity author thoughts in in this text, uh, summarizing of uh, author source, it, uh, can be concluded that literature review research measure whose text analyze, compare, critically evaluate, and summarize certain problems, information required for this decision. Uh, also, when we talking about uh, Literature review is important citation. Uh, quotation can be varied and paragraph, single statement, sense, or part. And uh, citation in the text required single out and indicate very clearly where taken from. from uh, for example, here are some possible is example. Uh, for example, uh, Lithuanian scientific Blosis and Wilkes uh, in 2013 speak about use uh, of quarters in Britain. Um, what's also in important uh, in summary, in order to quote thoughts of another author, it's necessary to be show that information is uh, really very important and the uh, text need to be written literally. Uh, citation need uh, to be discussed or adapt. Uh, you can just drop in the uh, in the text. Paraphrasing also it's important. Paraphrasing is the transmission of foreign text thoughts retelling in one own uh, opinion. For example, according to Zhukovsky and er 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 paraphrasing is one of the key elements of information transmission. Um, so, and in conclusion, uh, literature review uh, reveals the text of water uh, of works is uh, work composed thoughts of other author, evaluating them, arguing them, drawing conclusion. And most important uh, way uh, of literature uh, review is uh, text uh, citation and paraphrasing. Using the other author text, uh, origin vision of subjects is important. And uh, when we doing literature review, it's important uh, uh, creativity and critical thinking. Uh, have impact formulating questions and answer, which reflect higher understanding, uh, understanding uh, of con uh, concepts, unusually knowledge structure, 
uh, and confidence and development of necessity skills are important uh, art of writing and ongoing practice. And uh, uh, for example, when we uh, uh, write an article, uh, which uh, uh, used not only lit literature review uh, methods, but also uh, application or interview, it's important to connect the literature review with empirical data. And uh, when we talking about uh, method, uh, research methodology, it's important to mention how uh, uh, was created question for application? Uh, 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 what is basis of uh, our questions? Uh, and we must mention that, for, for example, uh, uh, first and second question, a question uh, was done uh, uh, according Kotler and Keller. Uh, articles and uh, and so on also important when we uh, connect uh, uh, literature review methods with empirical data uh, to do discussion we analyzing uh, when we doing discussion uh, another author opinion about uh, problematic questions and also we add our uh, opinion, uh, what uh, empirical results show, what it, it was important. Uh, so I already uh, finished. Maybe you have some questions. Mama, uh, on. Shall we take the questions now or uh, no, shall I ask the other presenters also? Uh, you like to have uh, interactions, ma'am? Okay. Uh, what what you, instruction? Uh, instruction for writing literature review? No, my uh, how can we confirm uh, this literature is enough? Um, uh, enough literature review. Uh, uh, we, when, we, when we doing literature review, uh, we uh, 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 create uh, problematic questions. And uh, according to these problematic questions, we trying to answer uh, what uh, uh, what is done and what we uh, can do to improve situation. Ma'am, uh, one more uh, doubt is there. Uh, and what do you mean by cross references? Cross references in the literature uh, articles in the uh, down no in the citation they have mentioned as cross references. What is the advantage or what it is? Uh, when we're doing a literature review, uh, it's better to use the uh, 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 how to say it's better used the, uh, organ uh, or origin originals original uh, articles uh, okay. and uh, not prefer uh, uh, because uh, we must see what. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, author uh, look uh, and what is uh, uh, this opinion? We have to and, read the uh, original version. Mm -hmm. We have to read the original version and quote it, not yes. by using that cross. Uh, yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <coughs> sir, man, uh, sir, man, Anand Kumar, sir. Yeah. Very good yes, morning, sir. sir. It's time. Very good morning, it's sir. It's time for you, sir, man. Uh, Okay. Uh, so first, I thank you for inviting me to uh, present of this section. Sir. Uh, first of all, I really appreciate the program uh, dignitaries and the program coordinators who organized this uh, two days international online workshops on academic research writing and publications. 
So then I, I really uh, very much appreciate it to all the research scholars who are participating of this, uh, uh, this uh, online sections as well as uh, the other participant of this international online workshops. So I just take to share my slide now. Are you, are, you, are you able to visit my slides, sir? Yes, we see you all. Ah, thank yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. First, so first, before we start off uh, literature review, first we have to understand what is mean by literature review. So many of the researchers struggles when it comes in writing of literature review uh, for the research papers. The literature review is a comprehensive view of all the knowledge available on a specific topics, right? So when you are decided on a research topic, usually the first step you have to take in the direction of conducting the research and learn more about the previous research published on the particular topics. And it translates into the literature review when you are right of a research topic. Right? The literature review is uh, one of the main pillars of your thesis on which the, your research idea stands since it provides context, uh, relevance and background of the research problem, what you are exploring in your thesis. Right? When I'm talking about the literature review, it's a survey of everything, everything under the, uh, the surround uh, concerns uh, that has been uh, written about the particular title, what is your title? In that title, you have to be present of your information, so theory, and the research course, everything which is comes under the uh, uh, literature reviews. It provides the background of a large works, not only a, a few works that you have to be contribute of your thesis. You have to be contribute of the large works. You have to be gather of information and everything. So, uh, it has to be stand on your own of your own information. So, and an effective literature review analyzes and creates information about the themes and issues of your topics, what you are to be engaged or what you have be fixed of your uh, uh, title of your research titles or uh, research topics. So it's very much, very much essence of a literature review is a comprehensive view of uh, uh, what I said that uh, real, uh, research regarding of a specific topics, right? The overview both the shows of a reading, what is known about the topic and what is not yet known for money. Okay, that by a setting up a rationale and the need of a new investigations, which is what the actual study to which the literature uh, review is attached to seeks of to do, to do of that, right? So one minute. Okay. So the PPT next, is not visible, sir. Uh, one minute, sir. I'll check with that. Thank you, sir. So kind of. Uh, now are you able to visit, sir? Are you able to see of my PPT? I it shows the uh, presentation Zoom uh, link like one minute, sir. One minute, I'll check with that. I know uh, your folder name and uh, list only available. Okay, I, okay. I just tried to. Now it's okay. Yeah, fine. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, next. Next, why should we write the literature review in our thesis? So what is the need, right? So we have a lot of, uh, lot of uh, need to provide of our contribution information to our thesis in literature review, especially for the chapter two, right? So the first point to discover what has been written about the topic already. So when I'm when I'm concerned of literature review, 
as a server functions obviously it gives you the opportunity to show what research has already been done on any of a given subjects right as part of all you you may also be able to highlight an area which related to the subject in matters right but but mm, maybe maybe not how uh, much uh, research carry out carry out upon them right this can help with the justifications of your research proposals what you are in your thesis right it's a great deal of research into your subjects has already been published you may need to revise you research proposals you are research proposals very important concerns if you if you are planning of your research 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 problem or uh, research works you need to find an area where a further research would be uh, useful in your concern particular topic a literature review will help you identify such area right the second one is right to determine what each sources contribute to that topic so think of your literature review should discuss the theories and the concepts of underpin of your research this is a different of your methodologies you will actually use of your research right so in your discussion of your area research the main issues relating to it you have to be connected with your main issues what you are be a fixation fixation of your research questions that right you should also explain the terminologies right that you will be use in your research area and provide definitions of each and every areas what you have to be define of your research works right as a part of your research review you need to critically analyze the material right you uh, you have a looking at it's a part of a, a review process right so the last point which is concerned to understand the relationship between the various contributions identify and determine the gaps or unanswered questions so think of that literature review is important for a number of reasons so many reasons that so more important of your thesis when you are work with the research works right primarily the literature review forces uh, forces a uh, right of uh, educate the researchers on as much information as possible pertaining to our topic chosen right this will be both assist in the learning process it's it's a com complete learning process when you are talk about the research works right so literature review when you have be review of a literature you have to be gathered a lot of ideas lot of informations and it will also help make to write as strong as possible to by knowing what has not about the studies and established as knowledge in a prior research right the second when i'm talk about the literature review Right, it has to be a demonstrate the readers that the authors has a firm understanding on the topic, particular topics. This provides a credibility to the authors and integrity to the work. Right, so overall, it's it's concerned of overall arguments. Right, so the entire research, uh, literature review, you have to be properly argue of the different different authors who may contribute of their informations. Right. so uh, and by reviewing and report on all the prior literature the weakness and the shortcomings of the prior literatures will uh, become uh, more apparent right so this will not uh, only assist of finding or uh, arguing for the need of the particular research questions to explore but also it helps the better forming the arguing uh, argument of uh, why the further research is needed in your in your contributions of your literature reviews right so when i go to the next slide how to write a literature review so it's a very critical so many of the people who still not understand how to write of their literature review the researchers is completely confused before start of their literature review to write up of their literature review of their thesis right first of all don't forget that writing of literature review is a great responsibility of every researcher it is a document it's a document that is expected to be highly reliable especially concerning its source and findings of your research thesis 
of your research information, right? You have a fit intellectually comfortable in the area of the study. You, the, every researcher who may, you may intellectually comfortable to understand about the concept, what they are going to be right of their information and highly proficient in the target languages, right? The misconceptions and the errors do not have the place of uh, place in your document as the important of literature, every literature use. In fact, in fact, you might um, want to want to consider test editing services like those offer. If you think of an elsewhere, elsewhere publications to make sure the literature is following highest standard of test quality, because you want to make sure that your literature review is also uh, memorable. It's it's so it's a, see it's and our thesis is a memorable that we accept that one, but the literature review each and every points what we are intellectually to realize of the concepts that's all a memorable it's a novelty and the quality rather than the language errors, right? So this is what we are uh, put the different kinds of our concepts, right? So when I'm when I'm taking to uh, writing of the literature review records experts. But also the organizations we can teach about the topic of research. Right? The first point here, I'm I'm taking to discuss about the choose your topic and on research questions. So first, you should understand of your topic, and you have to be relate of your comprehensive, right? On your literature review, so it should not be too comprehensive, right? And too limited, or too limited. You have the complete your task within the flexible time frame, right? So how, how you choose which uh, topic to review? There is uh, so many issues that uh, uh, comprehensive uh, taking of uh, a science uh, related works that you can could spend the lifetime of attending conference and reading the literature, just uh, uh, spending of what you have to be reviewed in your life, right? So this is the first point. When I'm talking about the set of scope, set of scope, you should understand your level of boundaries. So it, it should be a defining boundaries concerning the number of sources, time framing of, uh, to be a covered, what you are covered and geographical way, how you are going to be cover of your information regarding your titles, regarding your research questions. So everything, it's a very important part. Yeah. A literature review will be helps to avoid, right? So in your own research and identify the new problem possibilities for further research and to expand upon or ask new questions. The literature, the literature review allows you as a researcher to enter into an ongoing uh, uh, conversations, conversations with the other scholars and researchers. So. When I'm talk about the third point, decide which database you will use for your research. So it, it's concerned of in order of research, the best viable source for your literature review. Use highly regarding a comprehensive databases to get a big picture for the literature related on your topics. The database often focus a particular subject that are the database which is uh, uh, concerned of your related subject. It means that the long of using of appropriate de database on your uh, different uh, Google engines or different uh, searching engines, right? You have to be find more material on your topic and less relevant information. But how you do the, to select the best database, that's the very important part then the fourth point is search, search, search. Now you will start to investigate a ser the search on your topic. It's critical that you keep track of all the sources. See, search, search, search. You have to be searching of your information from the various Google engines or different search engines. So. Searching of any information is so quite very, uh, quite very different uh, kind of uh, experience of every research. Start by looking of your research abstracts in detailing to see that 
respective status relative to uh, or useful, useful on your own work. Right? The next research of uh, bibliographies and references that you can help the bottom of your list of resources, list of resources in your references, which is properly identified in a chronological orders, right? And also in your bibliography references, uh, you can be used later on of that, the next stages, right? The last point, which is concerned the review, all the literatures appraising carefully is the content, right? So it's a content. So it's it's a completely review of all the literature uprising. How you have to be uprising carefully in your content, right? So after reading the study abstracts, paying attention to the rest of the content of uh, of the article you deem to be the most relevant of your information, identify methodologies. The most important questions that addressing in a proper way. If they have a well designed and executed, and if they are excited enough, it's all a very important part of your writing of your literature review. So when I'm concerning, it's, it's, it's a very important time. You have published the literature review. Note that it, it is the important to follow the specific structure. Specific structure, just like a not, not a thesis, just yes, like a not a territory. Right? So this is what, and I'm taking off the next slide. <clears throat> what is involved in writing of literature? So you should understand about your research works, right? So this, this research is to discover what is being written about the topic. So when you are writing of your literature, you should understand what is mean by research. What is your research work? What is your research ideology, right? You should know how you have to be fulfilled of your information on your literature review. The next one is a critical appraiser. So how you have to be appraising of your critical Apprising of your uh, related of your literature review to evaluate the literature, determine the relationship between the source and a certain what has been done already and what still need to be done. Right. So when I'm talking about the critical appraiser, is identify strength and weakness in what you have found. Author may finding and. Uh, maybe uh, using of uh, met uh, methodological plans in the research. The critical appraisal lets make the information decisions about the quality of a research evidence. So the critical appraisal is a process of careful and systematically examining of your research in your in your judgment works in your judgment ideology. It's, uh, it's completely a truthfulness, right? and it's very clear value and relevance of your particular context. So the third one, writing. What is think of writing? You have to writing of your information in your literature, in your, uh, to explaining what you have found or what you have gathered, what you have learned from using of different ideology, from collecting of an information with the various ways. Right? In your literature review, is a written overview of amateur writing and other sources on the selected topic sources covered in the review or may include a scholars, journals or something uh, related of an articles, books and government reports or any other websites. So this all are very important for supporting documents on your literature review. A literature review provides the description and the summarizing and the evaluation of each sources, each sources. It is usually are present as the distinction selections on the graduate thesis and the dissertations. The last one is references. So very important. You have to be properly, source of properly identifying identifications. References is a page of the last page on the essay uh, and the research paper on or your, in your thesis research works that has to be properly in APA style. So it's a very important for APA style, 
right? It listed all the sources they have uh, used in your projects and your thesis. So reader can easily to find where it should be cited, where it should be identified, where it should be noted, right? The references is one of the most important aspects of any academic research, any academic research. But such a practices may also be perceived as a plagiarism uh, uh, by using of uh, different uh, uh, engines uh, by the different uh, journals and the university's uh, disciplinary actions that right? may follow that even a results of uh, uh, exclusions of from the courses, the different courses of that. So this is what, which is concerned of the involvement in writing of literature reviews, right? Then, then I'm taking a part of a steps in writing. Uh, Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. One minute, sir. I just go for. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Sir. Yes, sir. Please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, participation and give me of your uh, commands. Now I'm e eagerly waiting for your commands, and I'm ready to uh, explaining of your doubts in this uh, occasion. Any doubts about my presentations? Can you please? Sir, by uh, I mean, uh... Sir, uh, can you give an example for unanswered questions, sir? How to tackle the unanswered question through literature? Unanswered questions. Yes, sir. Uh, which is related to So, because literature review is a very vast information, right? So, we can't be able to fulfill all the information which is taken to involve in your thesis, right? We can't be able to you all the contributions of your ideology into your thesis of, of, of your such works. Sometimes it's maybe concerned of an unanswered. So we can't be able to fulfill all the information in your thesis, right? Sometimes it may be happen in your unanswered. Uh, that is nothing for about that. Sir, thank you. Sir, one more uh, clarification, sir. Yes, sir. How to highlight the research gap through literature, sir? So first, you are very strong with your topics and your research questions. So without without your topic uh, uh, acknowledgement or uh, without your research questions, we can't be able to fulfill of your literature, right? So you you should understand how you have to be fulfill of your research question in your literature review. So then only we can be fulfill all the gaps. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. May I uh, request uh, Ramila, ma'am? Hello. Hi. Uh, what, yes, I would like to share my uh, PowerPoint slides. Yes, ma'am. Please, ma'am. OK. Um, can you see the PowerPoint slides? Yes, ma'am. OK. So, hello everyone, I'm Ramila from Malaysia. Um, thank you for attending my today's session. Um, I would like to take the opportunity to thank the organizing committee for giving me a great pleasure and honor to present on tips and techniques for literature review. Now, you have already listened to presentation by Professor Magarshia and uh, Professor Ananda. My presentation is not going to be any different than their presentation, but I would like to take you through the process of doing a literature review, the process itself. Okay, so the main question here is, why do you need to do literature review? What is the purpose of doing literature review? Um, you may come across a lot of topics. Um, you, you, you may show interest in certain topics that you want to learn a bit more on these topics. So what you do, the first step is you need to read up on the topic. So doing literature review basically allows you to identify relevant theories. Um, um, sorry, yeah. 
methods, uh, gaps in the existing research. Um, I'm a management person. I do a lot of research on um, a management topic. So one of the topics that I'm really interested on is organizational conflict and conflict management. So from the picture, you can know what is organizational conflict, right? So how do I actually do literature review for this? Um, when I do literature review for this topic, I came across that the majority of the literature actually suggests on two dimension theory uh, by Blake and Mountain. And this theory actually came about in 1964. So a lot of reference on this, right? So uh, when I read through and uh, do, due to my personal experience, I also uh, get to know that uh, cultural diversity can also cause conflict. Okay, which is often overlooked in research studies. So there is a gap and I start my uh, topic based on this. So uh, this gap can be a starting point to begin my research. So I came up with a topic called cultural diversity and its impact on organizational conflict and conflict management. Basically, I'm using cultural diversity to measure the organizational uh, conflict and conflict management. Um, so how do you do your literature review? Okay, once you already identify your topic, how do you do your literature review? There are five key steps. So if you go through internet, there are a lot of steps. Okay, there are seven steps, five steps, four steps, and so forth. Okay, so you need to remember these five steps in doing your literature review. Number one, you must know how to clearly define your topic. If you're writing a thesis or a dissertation or a research paper, uh, for this thesis, you have to search for your literature review based on research problem and questions. Okay, for example, here, uh, this is the title that I'm going to do research. I'm going to look into performance appraisal process and job satisfaction in banking sector. So what is the research problem here? Research problem, job satisfaction are vital for career enrichment because satisfied employees are more efficient, productive, and have higher willingness to work in long term. So what is my aim here? Okay, what I want to investigate, I want to investigate the impact of performance appraisal process on job satisfaction in banking sector. So how do I do the search? Okay, so... Basically, I can use all these keywords to do my search, okay? I can use either performance appraisal, job satisfaction, or a combination, performance appraisal, job satisfaction, and so on. So these are the keywords where I can search for the, uh, the right journals or the articles. Now, if you're doing a literature review as a standalone assignment, okay? So you are going to do an article, a, a research based on uh, reviews, uh, literature uh, done by other people, then you have to choose a focus and develop a central question to, the, to direct your research. And this question has to be answerable without collecting the original data, okay? Now you should be able to answer this based on a review of existing publication. For example, let's say you want to do a review paper on apoptosis and heart failure, you should be able to find all the related material for the topic that you are writing, right? Okay, now how do I search for journals and articles? Um, there are many ways for you to search. One, you can actually use your university library catalog. Okay, Progress database is one of the very common uh, database used all over the world to search for uh, articles, journals, um, books, ebooks, and so forth. Okay, the others will be like Google Scholar. You can use Google Scholar, JSTOR, EBSCO. Uh, if you're in a human science, humanities and social science area, then you can use Project News. If you're in medical line, you can use MedLine. Some of the articles or the journals are free, but some you have to pay, okay? Now, when I search, okay, this is the best part. So when I search, let's say for example, conflict management, you can see that uh, your search result is 2.8 million. So um, earlier on, I did saw someone ask, um, how many um, 
journals or how many literature review that we need to include for our thesis? Well, that depends, okay? Uh, depends sometimes on your supervisor itself, okay? Sometimes um, 20 is enough, sometimes 20 is not enough, sometimes 100 is not enough, you need to have 200. But when I browse through, I actually came across saying that if you're writing a thesis for 100 pages, you need to have at least 100 references. I don't know to what extent this is relevant, but again, it depends on your write-up itself, okay? You, you, the content itself. So what you want to write, you need to organize. When you organize, you should be able to know uh, how much material that you need to use, okay? So there is 2.8 million. So do I go through all this 2.8 million? Of course, you don't have time to go through all this 2.8 million. Huh? So basically what you do, okay? So you need to, this is step number two, you need to evaluate and select the journals. You need to select the right journals, okay? So how do you select your journals? Um, based on some studies, they say that you have to focus on recent studies that are more relevant and helpful in relation to your research topic, okay? But if you see a term or an idea um, repeated quite often, and it is taken from the older study, then you go back to the original journal, to that academic journal. Okay, um, there are uh, the other two professors also mentioned about this, go back to the uh, older journals, right? So this is how you select. Um, for when you are selecting, the first thing that you need to do is you need to uh, read the abstract and you need to find out Okay, the following, you need to look into um, question or problem the author is trying to address. What are the key concepts and how they are defined? What are the key theories, models, and methods? Does the research use established frameworks or take an innovative approach? That means uh, uh, basically when you read that literature review, uh, you look into the framework. Are they using the existing framework? or are they uh, using a different approach to the framework? And you also need to look into results and conclusion of the previous research, okay? Uh, the other areas will be, um, how does the publication relate to other literature in this field, whatever field that you're studying? Does it confirm, add, or challenge the established knowledge? So you need to look into this area as well when you're selecting your right literature, how does the publication contribute to your understanding of the topic? Uh, what are the key insights and arguments? The strengths and weaknesses of the research is also a main factor that you need to look into because later you need to include that into your uh, literature review, okay? The third step will be you need to identify the themes, debates, and the gaps. This is the most important. You need to understand the connections and the relationship between the sources that you have read. For example, you need to look into uh, trends and patterns in the literature review itself. So if you're selecting um, conflict management, for example, then you each of this uh, article that you have selected or journal that you have selected, you have to look into the similar trends and patterns that they have discussed. Okay, themes, debates, conflicts and contradiction, pivotal publications and what are the existing gaps because you're going to do your research based on these existing gaps, right? So um, how do we identify the themes, debates and gaps? I give you one example. For example, my paper, Organizational Conflict and Conflict Management, we know that the researchers use dimension theory, okay, to explain on the organizational conflict and how to handle conflict in different industries. When I read through all this research, I find out that there is a lack of robust research on organizational management conflict that arise through cultural diversity. So I can include that, okay? I can include that. So this is the gap identifier, so I can base my research on this gap, right? Now, when we talk about debates, conflicts, and contradiction, okay? Uh, how do we cite that? How do we um, promote that in our uh, review? 
in our literature review, I give you one example. Um, some of you know what is Phillips curve. Um, it's related to economics, okay, inflation and unemployment. Now, the research done in 1958 by A.W. Phillips shows that there is a negative correlation between inflation and unemployment. Okay, and the later research, this is actually done for UK economy. The later research done by Robert Solow in 1960 um, for US economy shows, again, there is a negative correlation between inflation and unemployment. So there is a, um, there's no contradiction actually. They, they actually follow, okay, they agree. These two researchers, they agree. However, in 1968, when Milton Friedman and Edmund Phillips, they did the same research, they find out that, um, they found that there is no correlation between inflation and employment. This trade off was just temporary. So there is a contradiction. So in your literature review, you can actually list down, okay, what are the things which are same done by the researchers? What are the contradicting uh, research, okay? Now, pivotal publications are any influential theories or studies that change the direction of the field. For example, everybody for conflict man management, everybody mentions about the two dimension theory, how they handle conflict. Okay, this is a very famous theory. Okay. Now, step number four, right? You have to outline your literature review structure, right? Um, uh, Professor Mug. Um, uh, Professor Magarshia, she actually mentioned the chronological order. Okay, there are many orders actually. Okay, so for chronological order, please avoid simply listing and summarizing sources. What you need to do for chronological order is you try to analyze a pattern, the patterns, okay, turning points and key debates that have shaped the direction of the field. Uh, give your interpretation of how and why certain development actually took place. Okay. So I give you one example of chronological order. So this is literature review on performance appraisal method. Um, these are different methods introduced at different period by researchers. Okay, so this is in chronological order up to uh, early, uh, early 21st century, which now for PA, they use artificial intelligence. So you can see the uh, timeline uh, basically. So this is a chronological order. Now you can also use thematic order. Thematic, basically you take the recurring central theme and you organize your literature review into subsections that address different aspects of the topic. Okay, for example, if you are uh, uh, doing a research on inequalities in migrant health outcomes, then you can actually organize it into uh, key, key, key themes such as healthcare policy, language barriers, cultural attitudes, legal status, and economic access. So you can group them. Okay, so this is thematic order. Um, the other order will be methodological order. So this is based on the research method used by um, various researchers in uh, different uh, disciplines or fields. Okay, uh, for example, uh, you can compare the results and conclusion that emerge from different approaches. So you can look into the qualitative research done by researchers, compare that to the quantitative research done by researchers in the same area or same field. Empirical versus theoretical scholarship, or you can cluster them into different groups such as sociological, historic, historical, and cultural sources, okay? So um, another method will be theoretical. Um, theoretical is the most common method because this method allows you to come up with your own theoretical framework. Okay, this method allows you to come with your own framework. You can use it to discuss various theories, models and definitions and key concepts. You can combine various theories, concepts to create framework for your research. So example of framework is something like this. So um, you can take from each of those um, particular um, author and then you can combine to come up with your own theoretical framework, okay? Okay, you can also use a synthesis metric uh, to outline and evaluate your sources. 
So this is another way of you uh, analyzing and evaluating your sources, whatever sources that you have created. So you can group them into the purpose, the method, the sample, findings, similarities, and what are they so different? Okay, the uniqueness, right? Okay, the last step would be how to write your literature review. It's the most important part. Okay, so your literature review, you should have an introduction, a main body, and a conclusion. Okay, these are the things that you need to have. So um, how do you write your introduction? For your introduction, you should able to clearly establish the focus and purpose of the literature. Okay? For dissertation or thesis, you have to repeat your central problem or your research question and give a brief summary on the scholarly context. Uh, for example, you can say that many recent studies have focused on problem X, while there are much, there has been much research going on on problem X. However, there are only um, few researchers that have focused on problem Y, uh, or a few research has taken Y into consideration, okay? Now, a review paper based on existing lit uh, literature, basically, if you're writing uh, a review paper, uh, you have to give some background on the topic, its importance. You need to discuss the scope of the literature uh, that you're reviewing, your objective, why are you reviewing this paper? What is the new insight that you can draw from the literature? Most of the time we give the objective, but we fail to give the new insight that we can actually draw from the literature. Now, this is one example of standalone review paper. Um, so you can see that how the author actually organized, okay, into uh, groups. So, um, a background here, given a background and then evidence from literature review, okay, problems, potential therapy, uh, and finally conclusion. So you, you can follow the simple format, okay. Uh, there are many more uh, standalone review papers online which you can read through and get an idea how to write a review paper. Now, for the body, you need to divide your body of your literature review into subsections. You can summarize and synthesize, analyze and interpret. You have to critically evaluate and you have to write in well-structured paragraphs. Okay. So for a body, you must have all these components, the main ideas from general to specific, the current content, the theory or tensions between competing theories, and then concept contributions, defining relevant terminology, agreement or debate, and you should mm -hmm. able to demonstrate the relationship. If you're talking about two variables, you should able to demonstrate the relationship between two uh, variables. Okay, what the past research have said and what your research is saying right now. Okay, and as for conclusion, you need to summarize the key findings that you have taken from the literature and emphasize their significance. So you show your research addresses the gap and contributes to new knowledge. Discuss, or you discuss how you have drawn an existing theories methods to build a framework for your research. Okay, so you can base on your literature review to come up with your own framework for your current research. Now this is summary of reviewer. So basically when you collect literature review, uh, you need to break and identify important informa information and then you need to try to incorporate them, integrate them, um, then identify the conclusion for whatever literature that you have collected. Uh, when you write the literature review, it has to be very clear and consistent. You should be able to able to communicate clearly what you're trying to say from your literature review, how your research will resolve the unsolved questions, okay, and then the direction that you want to move next. So at the end of the literature, you should able to tell um, the reader in which direction you want to move, okay. Now, the major part of literature review is referencing, okay. So there are many formats of referencing. The most common referencing is uh, APA, 
Uh, some they would like to use uh, MLA, Model Language Association, or you can use APA, American Psychological Association, or Chicago. Okay. So um, beside this referencing, you also need to pay attention to other things such as the phone size, margin, space, spacing, title page, abstract, body text, citations, and quotations. Okay, um, when you're writing a, write, a good research paper, you have to take into consideration all these factors. Right, with that, I have concluded my uh, presentation on tips and techniques for literature review. Um, now I would like to open the floor for any questions, any questions that you want to ask. Hopefully you would have learned something from this presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful presentation. Ma'am, uh, can you uh, share uh, any information about the citation tools? Uh, share citation information tools. about citation tools. Use tools. User friendly for the students. Yeah, we do have some. We can actually share some of the documents actually that we have how to do citation. But the most common citation that we use is APA citation. It's the most simplest one and easy to understand. OK, ma'am. Uh, one more doubt. Mm -hmm. Shall I ask, ma'am? Yes, yes. Please go ahead. Uh, ma'am, uh, there are many articles which is uh, showing us as a paid one. Yes, correct. Uh, uh, some scholars are not affordable to get that one. Yes. Uh, when, uh, what is the procedure or how they can solve that issue? Okay. Um, there is a website called ResearchGate. And when you uh, go and the, the ResearchGate itself, you need to upload your profile. And you can actually communicate to some of the authors who who write these papers and they can send it to you. Or if you email to them, they have some authors that you would like to read their papers, you email to them, they will be very glad in sending their papers to you. Uh, in education environment, I don't think so. Um, the authors, uh, uh, they are very free to share information. So you can always write to them and ask that you would like to use their um, the journals or whatever they are, the art, the, their publications for your research purposes, and they will be gladly yeah, <laughs> yeah, share correct. those information. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Rightly said. If the scholars they uh, contact the, I mean, uh, authors, I mean, uh, author, no, that may, uh, mail ID, but definitely they will share. If it yes, is for yes, the yes. academic purpose, definitely they will share. Yes, correct. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for spending uh, uh, your time. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's time for uh, thanking, uh, thank all the speakers. First and foremost, I, and I like to thank the uh, uh, professor from um, Lithiana, uh, Dr. Margata Isoret, for uh, enlightening the literature analysis and uh, she made, uh, she made it as an interesting presentation. Thank you, ma'am. Ma uh, we are all benefited how to conduct the literature analysis. Next pe uh, presenter is the Dr. Anant Kumar, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for taking your time to demonstrate the important issue of how to identify the research gap and uh, how to answer the unanswered question. Video. In an organized making <laughs> us Um, the order of leadership.
trade research and the importance of conduct and the last uh, speaker that are in your great expertise in this workshop for Hello. Hello. sharing our time participants organizers uh, professor and head dr by uday suren sir i mean uh, dr uh, m arun sir and then the university authorities for their experiences thank you dr nagarajan sir you can conclude the session Yes, sir. Thank you, Dr. Anand. Uh, thank you for all the resource person for sharing their views and ideas. Uh, due to little bit of technical issue, the session was started with a little bit delay. Uh, we apologize for that. Hope I think so. The next session, uh, those things will not be there. Like that, like some YouTube telecast also, there are some technical issues. Uh, so, uh, we will have a lunch break and uh, Uh, those uh, because lot of people even not taken the breakfast also because you know it is a international program so people from across the globe they are participating uh, so we will have a lunch break uh, breakfast or dinner whatever that we have so we can have it at our own actually if it is a normal conference we will have a get together and usually we will enjoy networking with others but uh, because of this pandemic that is not possible so everyone will have our own tea and our own lunch and we will again join by uh, 3 pm ist uh, so now it is uh, 12 30 in india so we will have a long break now and we will start the next session by 3 pm ist so thank you very much thank you one and all for all the participants and the speakers and all those my teammates those who are with my organizing team thank you very much sir. thank you bye thank you so much dr nagaryan dr ramila all our speakers and moderator and all our participants congratulate you with your successful our second session and see at next session as well thank you so much Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Very colleague. Yes, can you, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, Anand. Thank you very much. We can close. Uh, thank you. Close the session now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Tamijoy, sir. Thank you. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shall I leave? Yes, sir. You can leave, sir. Kamraj, Dr. Kamraj. Dr. Kamraj, sir. Ah, uh, hi. Yes, sir. We can yeah, leave now, sir. Yeah, okay. we, uh, we can close. Yes, sir. End the session. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah.